Hello, I'm Dave Rat, and I'm going to do some real simple testing of the AES capabilities of various cable types and various cable lengths. Um, also, I want to demonstrate some of the capabilities or advantages of the Cat Snake system that Sound Tools, the Division of Rat Sound, makes. Um, what I'm going to do, it's real simple, I'm kind of, I'm not getting overly technical with frequency response measurements other than just using a simple Whirlwind AES Q-Box tester. And what it does, it puts out a um, uh, AES signal at 48, 96 and 192 um, kilohertz. And I'm going to plug various cable lengths in and we'll see if it passes or fails. And this will just give us a quick indication of the capabilities of various cable lengths. Um, I made a little chart uh, that I'll fill out as we go. So I'm going to start off with a short mic cable. Turn on the tester. And it makes a little tone. Let me try it at 48. 48K. 96K, 192K. Okay. Next, short mic cable, 48, 96, 192. Next, I'm going to grab a. This is a 50 meter mic cable, 160 some odd feet long. And we'll try that same thing starting at 48. It's good at 48. 96 and 192. So, 50 meter mic cable, 48, 96, 192. Now we're going to go to a 100 meter mic cable. And I made a mistake here. I wrote 150. I'm going to write 100 here. And 100 meter mic cable. And and 48, 96, and it does not do 192. You got a big pile of cable here, uh, which is kind of handy. A lot of times, a lot of people might not have access to all these cables to do these tests. So, 48 is good. 96 is good, 192, I'll put an X, 200 meter mic cable. For that, I'm going to take two 100 meters, connect them together, and put on the ends. And we'll start with 48, good. 96, no good, 192, no good. So, at 200 meters, somewhere between 100 and 200 meters, we lose the 96K, and we're dropped down to 48. Let's keep these here. And I'll fill it out, we got 48, X, X, 250. Put them back in, and I'll grab the 50 meter, put this in. Use the right ends of the cable here. And now this is just a normal mic cable. I'll tell you the 48 good, 96 no. So 250, mic cable is still working. Uh, what is this mic cable? This is Proplex, TMB Proplex. Uh, let's go to 300. Here's another 50 meter cable. Put it under here. And at 300, try and do this as quickly and clumsily as possible. And we got nothing at 48, nothing at 96. So at 300 meters, 250 we had 48. And at 300, we have nothing. And I'm going to assume that at 400, we have nothing as well. All right, so there's our mic cable run. What I do find interesting is that we're getting some pretty good links of AES feed from typical or typical professional mic cable. I'm sure this varies from brand to brand and type to type. 
Um, but it's a good indicator, just kind of a reference point. All right, let's move on to snake cable. I don't have as much snake cable because I didn't want to bring it all home with me. But this is a six channel whirlwind snake. And we'll use channel one here. And these are little AES jumper links. We coat the ends yellow at rat to indicate their AES-ness. And this should be 48. Oh, this is a 75 foot cable. So we'll call it 50 meters. I mean, we'll call it, uh, we don't really want to do it. Oh. But it works on all three, so let's go longer. We don't carry our snake cables in the same lengths. So I'm going to put two of these together, which should give me approximately a 50. That works at 48, 96, and 192. And I have one more, which will bring me up to uh, somewhere between 50 and 100 meters. And if everything operates as we thought, we should see that 192 fail here. It's 48, 96, 192 doesn't work. Okay, so what I gather out of it, I know it's a little imperfect there. Again, this is just a reference point. But what we're seeing is that the snake cable performs similarly to the mic cable. And with all three, we were good 48, 96, 192. 48, 96, 192, 100 meter. Um, we saw somewhere between 50 and 100. So I put a little arrow there. We saw 48 and 96, and not 192. All right, let's go to AES cable. All right, this I only have in 100 meter chunks, and this is Belden. 3487 um, AES grade cable. And we'll start with a 100 meter chunk. And 192 does not work. 48, 96, and 192 does not work. Um, What's interesting about that is that's the same, let's write that down, 100 meter, 48, 96, no go on the 192. That's the exact same issue we had with the regular mic cable. What I found really interesting is that this AES cable is not really performing any better than um, standard mic cable. Now this is a very thin AES cable, it's not as... Um, large in diameter, so that may play an issue, and the fact that a 100 meter cable is so light and small. Um, and I guess I could get a bunch of thin mic cable, but I don't have any. Or some thick AES cable, but I don't have that either. So, now we'll go to 200 meter of AES. And we'll start at 48. Works at 48. No go at 96, no go at 192. So, fill that in. Two hundred meter, forty-eight. No, and no. And no reason to go any longer. I guess I could. I don't have any more, so we can't go longer. All right, now let's get into the Cat Five stuff. Now this is interesting because um, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Cat Five, which is built for digital, as an analog cable. Cat5 cable has four twisted pairs, and shielded Cat5 has four twisted pairs and an overall shield as well. And that's the type of cable I'll be using as a shielded Cat5. This uh, adapter here, this connector here, is a Cat5 or Ethercon in and four male XLR outs. And this box here 
is Ethercon in and out with four XLRs. This is the ma uh, male version. Oh, I don't want the male version. Like I said, this is a female version. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. This is a hundred meter piece. Let's not start with that. Let's start with. Here's a 50 meter piece. So I'll we'll plug that into here. Take the other end, plug it into the tails. Set this to 48. Find channel 1. And our AES jumper. Plug that into channel 1. And 48 is good. 96 is good. 192 is good. That is our 50 meter at the Cat5, 48, 96, 192. Next, let's do 100 meter. Cable wrestling going on. 100 meter. This is the first cable we've had that's done the 192 at 100 meters. 48, 96, 192. Now let's see what happens. We'll go to 200 meters. Actually, we'll go to 150 since we're here. I don't have it on my chart, but we can try it. So for the 150, let's do this. Let's go out of this box in order to extend the cable. And into another box, and we will then come. I'm trying not to get confused here. Channel one will go in, and channel one will go out. And okay, 150 meters, 48 is good, 96 is good, 192 is not good. So we lose 192 at 150 meters. Let's write that down. Oh, let's not write it down. Let's oh, put a little X there. It's in between. Now we'll go to 200 meters. We'll lose this guy. Oop. Ah, we can't go directly to 200, but since this Cat5 is four channels of, of audio, what we'll do is we'll come into channel one, we'll go through the cable, we'll come out of channel one, right here, and we'll go into channel 2, we'll go back through the cable, and we will come out of channel 2, here, works at 48, this is 200 meters of wire at 48, borderline at 96, it's barely doing it, and 192, no, so I'm going to put 200 meters is 48, 96, I'll put a circle around it, and 192, no. And let's go to 250 meters. I don't know how to do that. It's going to be too complicated. Let's go to 300 meters. We can do this again at the AES jumper. So let's come out of number two, into number one, out of one. I've got confused here. All right, let's try this again. Into one, comes all the way through. Out of one, into two. Out of two, into three. Out of three, and into our tester at 48. 300 meters, we've got uh, 48. And we didn't get 96 before, so I doubt we're going to get it again, and we do not. Uh, do I have the ability to do 400 meters? Let's try 400 meters. i got to use a mic cable. I don't have any more AES. I'm going to short mic cable. Uh, this is going to mess things up, but maybe we'll get lucky. Let's see how far 48 will go. 
Let's go here. Um, into one, and one, one. Okay, this has got to go into. So we've reached the limit based on our very crude test system. Uh, you can question the test system, you know, yes, there's better ways to do it, of course, we could do it more accurately. On the other hand, we could make it all accurate, but in the real world, how accurate are all of our cables and the systems that we use? They get dirty, they we come in, we plan everything out, and then we've got to just use what we've got when we don't have enough cable length. Then when we're planning ahead, we have the ability to test the cable lengths in the shop and make sure that we can transmit signal down these various lengths. Um, but when we're planning out the system as well, how long of a cable can we allot of which type to which application? Um, of course, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it functions before you do a show, but on the other hand, in a pinch, you run out of AES cable or you, run out, you, do, you need to have a workaround. Um, Knowing that my cable works as good or nearly as good as AES cable is a, is a good thing to know. The sound tools units are built for analog. Um, AES is a digital signal being sent down analog lines, but it's designed to be sent down analog lines. So that's about it. Uh, I'll try and do another video soon, and I hope this is helpful.